Hey guys, so I just thought it'd be a little bit easier to do a video blog today. It's been a little while since I checked in. We had our um, anniversary on the weekend, so we stayed up in the city. Um, the whole time coming into this challenge, I knew that was the one big event where I didn't want to stress over my calories or sort of, I don't know, not that I've, I don't ever feel like I'm depriving myself because I always enjoy the food I'm having, but yeah, I just wanted to go away and have a good time and not feel guilty about going out and maybe having some cocktails or having a dessert, um, which I didn't end up having actually. We had such a beautiful meal. We were so full, we couldn't eat dessert, um, but I did have a few drinks. Um, and yeah, we're still not great. I'm still not super duper well. I did, um, went back to my original program that I'd planned to do for week um, five to eight. Um, we're now in week seven. So really uh, what should have been the third time I've done this workout was actually the first. And uh, it was really hard today. I have to say, even through the sickness, it's been nearly two weeks now, but Today is the first day when I was training and it was so hard, it was so hard to breathe. I just thought I could easily just pack it all in because I just felt like I was tired, I lost time. Um, yeah, the first time actually through the whole thing, through the challenge and through being ill that I really felt quite defeated this morning. Um, I got through my workout, I, d I did everything, I still lifted really heavy, I'm sure I'll be sore tomorrow, but it, it was just really, really hard trying to train at that level that I want to train at when still not really being 100%. Um, so yeah, I've been a little bit down actually. I was talking to a few friends and talking to my husband today and I think after nearly two weeks, you're just really sick of feeling crappy. And that's probably the only word I can describe it. We're not dying, but just don't feel great. Um, but at the same time, the other half of me um, is trying to be really positive. I've got six weeks now uh, till the end. We're officially, today is officially the halfway point. Um, and six weeks is a long time. You can do a lot of, a lot of serious damage, so to speak, in six weeks. So I'm just going to tough it out and just persist on and I'm just going to do all the training I'd had planned to do um, but now I think I might split it um, with the six weeks I think I might break it down into two three week blocks and I'll do the program I'm doing now for three weeks and then the last three weeks of the challenge I think I'll go back to do the first uh, four week block of training that I did I really enjoyed that my body responded really well to it so this uh, first three weeks is going to be a bit more lots of high intensity I'm not doing split days um, for my weights my weights will be every second day I'll do overall weights routine but I'm doing lots of different things like using ropes and kettlebells and um, plyometrics so, you know I've always been a fan of plyometrics so I'll keep going with that because it still works really well for my body uh, it's just really hard because I feel like I can't do my high intensity cardio yet tomorrow I was supposed to do HIIT training um, which I think will probably turn into just an hour of steady state cardio instead just because I don't feel like I've got the lung capacity to go for those big volumes of oxygen I'll probably have to keep it low keep my heart rate low so I can actually breathe um, but that's okay maybe I'll just do it that way for the three weeks I'm still in this whole this next week is still going to be a bit of a, a look and see and see what happens but I'm just really going to try and push it. Um, I always say listen to your body but I'm actually going to try and ignore it a little bit and try and just be really tough um, and just be really clean with my nutrition now. Just try and um, strip it right back. Being sick has been hard because you're just all over the place and you want stuff or you don't want stuff and I just feel like I've been, it hasn't been a lot of consistency so i I'm hoping that this sort of, okay, it's halfway point, we've got six weeks, it's going to have a bit more of a, a clean break on me psychologically, which is definitely the thing I probably feel like I'm battling more than uh, physically than this last little bit of the cough and cold is uh, mentally, like I said, just today's the first day I really felt like going, that's it, you know, this hasn't gone the way I wanted it to go, but... 
um, yeah, my husband's given me a massive pep talk and, and, you know, I've given myself, I don't think I'd ever would have truly given up, but just that little thought popped across my mind and I just went, come on, you know, give me a break, do something, fix something, wake up and feel good. So that's what's going on. I'll, um, I'll post a few pics over, um, from the few things that I took over the weekend and a few meals and things like that, but nothing too serious but I just thought it'd be easier to talk instead of uh instead of type so halfway point trying to um just try and lock it down and be good eat clean train hard all the usual slogans that go with that sort of stuff so yeah and I'll talk to you during the week no doubt okay see you guys bye